Give it honor to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Yes. Uh, I, I'm not going to take up much of the time because there's nothing else to be said. Thank you. Um, that was a very powerful meeting Amen. Uh, substance. Uh, and I thank God for allowing me and my wife, uh, Evangelist uh, Brown, to be here today in the midst. I thank God for all of the spirit that is in this place. Uh, I thank God for a powerful, anointed uh, pastor over, over this place. The anointing break yokes. Yes. And I know that there has been a lot of yokes that have been broken in this place. As I look around, I know that there has been a lot of heartbreaks and a lot of sorrows and a lot of letdowns and put downs and turnarounds and ups and downs. But through this anointed man of God, I know that there has been a lot of things that's been fixed. I know there have been a lot of things that have been put together because this man preaches truth. Yeah, he preaches the word, the sound doctrine yeah. of the Father. Hallelujah. He preaches something that we can father. carry on to everyday life. Yeah, That's what we need. You know we're in a battle. Yes. We're in a battle and we're in a struggle against yes. Satan. Come on. Satan is attacking every church and every person, every home, every school. He's trying to tell us that the word won't work. Yeah. But the word will work. Yeah. And we Love you. Yes. 
We may not always have it right. But one thing we do have right is the name of Jesus. All right. Yeah. So if they tell you oh, something Jesus. about the love of God, Amen. you trust his word. Amen. You trust him. Because they're doing the very best they can. We all up and in a tight. But we know that the word of God will Amen. prevail. Yes. We know that the word of God will overcome every Amen. and every situation Amen. at all times. And Amen. I thank God for that. Amen. I thank God for the things that I've been through. Because what I went through brought me where I am today. Amen. If it wasn't for God by my side, where would I be today? Amen. Amen. So I thank God today. I thank God that Praise God blessed name. me in a home, Praise even as a child, that I was even molested in a home. But I thank God that he brought me here today. Amen. I thank God that I was Praise used to Lord. stir up bad. I used to stir up like nobody else's business. But God brought away I was worse than probably Moses was. But God brought me through. Amen. God brought me through because I trusted in God. Amen. No matter what the situation was, it took all of that to get to this. Amen. And I thank God for my past because my future is even brighter. Amen. This is only one chapter of my story. My God. But God says he had the last chapter. Come on, bro. That is when he closed that Come book on, and he see my name inside and it's written down in the book of heaven. And he said, my true and faithful servant, a job well done. And I thank God that I'll be able to be in the book of life. And as long as we just keep pressing on, as long as we just keep moving towards those things which is of God, no matter what seems to be like, God said if you speak to those things, it must move. So we got to keep on speaking the word of God. We got to keep on speaking truth because the word of God is the truth. And in the evidence of the word, just look at yourself. Oh, thank mm. you. Look around and you can see the evidence of how the word is truth. I don't have no sorrow in my past. I just thank God that he was there to save me and pick me up, turn me around, and place my feet on solid ground. I thank God today. I bless God today for all he has done and what he has done. And I'm not going to take more of your time. But I know God, I, I love him with all of my heart, my body, and soul. And I thank God for blessing me with a wife that stood by me. Even when I took her through some things with drugs and alcohol. Even when I was in the midst of things that she stood in the gap and she knew the ways of the Lord. She prayed me through things that I thought that I didn't, couldn't do. But because of her love and because of her love for the Lord and her trust and faith, then I'm here today. Amen. I'm here because I stepped out on faith. Amen. We need to do more on that. We need to step out more on faith today. We need to have God on our side because God never left us. We leave him. But we need to stay by his side. Amen. Because we have a marvelous and I just thank God for all of the wonderful singing and all of the praises and, and all of the prayers. And I just thank God for everything. And I truly thank God for the men of God of this house. Hallelujah. I thank God because yesterday he really, I, I, uh, you know, it, it's amazing when, I'm not a nervous type person. But when you round someone with their anointing that I felt <laughs> on your pastor yesterday, and the love that was generated from him, mm. I felt a little nervous. I was like, Lord, what this man see in me? What, what, what are you going to tell me? What do I got to do? What? You, know, it, you know, but I felt the anointing. I felt it. And I just thank God for thank him and his wonderful wife. And God bless you. Amen. 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 Yesterday. I thank God for everyone yesterday. I thank God for the brotherhood that is here, the fellowship that is here. Amen. I think I just really truly thank God and and and, and Brother Steve. I, I think I think Brother Steve to me, I have known him for a while. I think he's probably one of the humblest men I ever met in my life. Mm. I love him with I love him. I love him. I, I he is truly uh my brother. He is truly uh, a brother. Uh, you would mind the well be blood brothers because I love it. Uh, uh, and it, it goes beyond that. And I just thank God for that. And I just thank, I truly thank God for everyone here. I, I just really thank God. This is a church that I would, 
you know, the devil scale of this church. The devil scale of the church because he knows what goes on, the teaching and the preaching that's going on over yeah, here. Yeah. So if people is not coming to this church because they don't want to receive the truth. They don't want to receive the truth. But you are setting up on something that we all need every day of our life. That is the raw truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And I thank God that I heard it today. I thank God I was blessed with that word today. Amen. I thank God for, for everything. And you just don't know how blessed I really am today. Um, my soul is filled. I, I really have joy. I really have peace. I really have just so much. Just, just so much love for each and every one of you. Uh, it just feel like just you all the family. Yeah, uh, I just, I just, just, I just, just looking around and all these beautiful faces and and everyone. I just thank God for you all. Thank God for allowing me to come up here and say a few little words and um, and for the ones that who know the ways of the Lord, uh, continue to pray for me and my wife and my family as we continue our journey. Uh, Get, ask God for our traveling grace uh, bike to Tallahassee, uh, but uh, we will be bike uh, eventually to visit Steve and this church here yeah. um, at, at another time. But I just thank God for 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 everything and Amen. Uh, Amen. And, um, Amen. and I truly just, Amen. I truly just truly thank everyone. Amen. appreciate God's people. Yeah.